Hello. So we have a bit of a day out in the outskirts of Edinburgh today because we are picking up friends from the airport later on. And I've seen my friend Callum on Instagram talk about Lorston Castle and Cramond Beach and so on. So I wanted to come and visit. And so we're going to be doing a tour of the castle. Cover over your bath is deemed a kind of a sensible thing to do. It's sort of vulgar to uh, leave your, your bath open. This toilets um, or the, the company had the contract for Bob Morrow um, and I think for Hollywood as well. Just here is the cord that runs up to the uh, bell pool for service staff. Pipe, which is um, quite a grand piece, it's part of the collection within the sitting room mm -hmm. and drawing room of um, Eastern, Far Eastern objects.
fantastic ceiling. Beautifully carved, really ornate, probably really, really heavy as well. Um, unfortunately retained from the 1820s. Um, you've got about seven dishes here in total. And what's interesting is you, you have a dessert here of a cake followed by a cedary, um, so something quite sweet followed by something quite sweet. Given a, a wee extra lease of life, brandy in there, in and ink in there, put there, and you're straddling it to support your back if you're doing an extended period of reading or study. Mm -hmm. And that's it, in your papers. stressful experience trying to work out which one was going off, especially if there was a few of them going off at the same time. But have a look through that ventilation hatch. First, I want to mention some of the things that the guide mentioned to us. The stone, I think it has Alexander Napier something somewhere on it. Uh, I think it's the celestial stone. This is the old tower house and originally there was a building here in 1290 which was destroyed. So there's a few plaques here and there. And then you can see the different phases. These stones were quarried nearby here where the local pond is now. And then lots of things were added too over the centuries. And this is what they would call a cracking view in Scotland. If it wasn't for the planes that are coming in and out, this is a great location. And there's a random pillar as well. So I'm gonna walk around the house and look at the gardens. There's the plane coming there. That is Fife on the other side there. You can see West Lomond. Right there. You know what, I would totally live in this house if I had the money and if it wasn't in the possession of the museums. I would spend all of my time in the library. <laughs> Here's a view of our next destination, 
We're gonna go down to Cramond Beach and then try to get over to Cramond Island, which has a causeway. And then explore there. Hmm. Some beekeeping going on here. Lots of bees. So let's have a look at the gardens. I love this iron wreath fence gate. That's one of the biggest monkey puzzle trees I've seen so far. Some of this has become really smooth, as if it was polished and turned into a piece of furniture. This looks like a nice seat for somebody to sit on. <laughs> nice comfy seat. With a view of the garden. So we're kind of walk down to this pond which used to be a quarry and as I said to you earlier they've taken some of the stones to build the house the tower house from this pond that used to be a quarry Timeline, so it's been well established. Now it's time to go to Cramond Island and down to the beach. been told something interesting about this island and that there is a punk festival happening there sometime sometimes so yeah just imagining between 500 and a thousand people coming together on a tiny island and watching some punk bands play you can definitely imagine that's the kind of place these things are cool as well I found Lower Stan Castle. It's over there. So there's a hidden building in this wood. Hmm. 
somebody just hung up a window frame on that tree there. Weird. Let me know if you know what any of this is. Looks like it's meant for water to run through it. But I can't tell. Is it something to do with boats? Volcanic stone, do you think? show you a close-up of this. This is just barnacles. Tons and tons of barnacles. This is amazing. Just wanted to show you the difference. This is how much the tide has come in. All of this area people were walking around on earlier and now it's all flooded but the causeway is still available. Everything on this island is covered in barnacles. Can't see a lot. So here's the kirk and here's some Roman stuff. So this is the Roman part of Grammont, which is pretty cool. There's a Roman bathhouse as well. of this fort is actually underneath this church which you can kind of see how the walls run into underneath the building so no drone footage this time because too many houses and there's airport for it to close. So it seems that pretty much this entire uh, space that is open, that's the barracks. And the latrine. So there's a ledge there, which is probably the edge. Um, and then here's another bit. So this is the granary. Doesn't look like there's any 
Roman walls preserved in this part. It's a pretty kirk, definitely. I think it's an Episcopalian kirk because yeah, it's in, it's got that kind of Norman look to it. The Presbyterian yeah. ones tend to look a bit more Roman. of the wall. What is this? Another granary. Okay. Lots of granaries. Then I've got the Principia. Looks like the bathhouse is somewhere covered by lots of shrubs. So this is all we got it seems. There's a bit of a ditch here. That's a shame that uh, apparently such a well preserved bathhouse and then all you get is a bit of a few edges. Right there. And everything's covered and stuff. It's a bit disappointing. It's basically just a bunch of uh, stinging nettle. Maybe in the winter it's a bit more apparent where all the walls are. Here's another edge right here. This is a statue of a fish. Nice. So here's my own question answered. The causeway does actually submerge when the tide comes up all the way. Just catching up with us. I quite like the style of houses here. Looks quite interesting. There's so many nice looking places, like this cottage over there. But anytime I ask myself, would I live here? The answer is airport. Swans everywhere. There's tons of swans all over the place. Shh, shh, shh. 